Good Tuesday morning. I hope each of you are doing well on this Tuesday morning. It is um, in Missouri, a sunny, pleasant morning, as we are all expecting, I guess, more winter weather to come in tonight. So enjoy what we can of the sunshine today. Um, and as we are going into this week, as many of us, life throws us curveballs. Life um, keeps us questioning. And my week has been quite a fury, um, flurry, crazy, however it wants to be defined. It's It's been busy. My daughter broke her collarbone last Tuesday evening and had surgery yesterday. So in the midst of life itself, we have also been dealing with um, an injury and surgery in our household. So life throws us curves, but we know that without question, God is there. God is faithful. God is ever loving. And that is joyful to remember even when things are a little unexpected. And I was reading a devotion um, that I thought I would share with you. Um, it is titled, His Love. It says, long before you began seeking me, I had designs on you for glorious living. My love not only completes you, it makes you holy. Your awareness that I love you with perfect, unending love helps you break free from sinful ways. Growth in holiness is a process, of course, and sometimes it is painful. But pleasures of my boundless love outweigh any amount of pain or trouble that you experience. When you are suffering, Talk with me about your struggles. Pour out your heart as I soothe you with my loving presence. I reassure you of the overall purpose that is working out in you and everyone around you. Psalm 62 verse 8 says, Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart to him, for God is our refuge. And I loved that, the way that it fit with, as I was, excuse me, grabbing my phone here. For those of you who are parents or family members of who have cared for a post-surgery loved one, there's a little fog that you operate in a lack of sleep and high emotion fog. I feel like I'm operating in that not all put together this morning. Um, but as I received our devotion this morning that says, God of justice and liberation, you call us to be your body in this world. Help us see with new eyes and hear with heart-shaped ears as you fill us with the Spirit. And I thought that that fit with the devotion, as it was saying, when we seek and rely on our Heavenly Father. But I loved the heart-shaped ears. I often find myself praying to be God's hand and feet in all that I do. Lord God, just help me be your hands and feet. Help me hear your guidance and follow that so that I may help others in all that I do. But I forget that part of that is also having ears that listen as our Heavenly Father listens to us. So as you go into your week this week, make sure that as you are embracing that our Heavenly Father is always there with us. Embracing that our that the love given us is sufficient 
Let us also embrace that being loving to others and having ears that are heart-shaped and listen as God listens to us is also a part of being that loving Christian community. I pray that I will see you back here next week and that I will be less foggy and hopefully you will join me. Have a wonderful week.